If you're a new hiker and buying gear for the first time, it's easy to obsess about what to buy. Males get especially hung up about which knife to get and often wind up with a knife that's too large or too complicated. A good place to start is to let go of fantasies like the one I'm showing here. A hiker's knife isn't a weapon, it's a tool. A lot of gear reviews endorse a single product, but I'm not going down that road today. Instead, I'll show you five options I own, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about each one. My goal is to provide some ideas to consider as you decide which knife to get. Here's a Swiss Army knife I used for so many years the logo rubbed off the side. On the plus side, it's small and light enough to drop into a front pants pocket, which is the best possible place to keep your knife. Going counterclockwise from the blade, there's an awl, a corkscrew, a nail file, a bottle opener slash screwdriver, and a can opener. On hikes, I only used three of those. The knife blade to cut stuff, the awl to pry apart knots I couldn't undo with my fingers, and the can opener. The corkscrew and bottle opener got plenty of use, but not on the trail. I didn't use the nail file even once. So one minus for this knife is features you won't use when hiking. I've owned fancier Swiss Army knives, and based on my experience, the more features it has, the more features you'll never use. The Wenger style can opener is this long curved thing. It works, but I was never able to cut a clean opening with it. The real reason I stopped using this knife is the blade. Not because it's small, because in a hiking knife, a small blade is all you need. The problem is that on this pocket knife, as on so many others, the blade doesn't lock in the open position. Once I was using a Swiss Army knife holding it just like this, and the blade snapped shut on my middle finger. Luckily I was near a highway, so I was able to hitchhike to the nearest emergency room. It took four stitches to close the wound. If the fingernail hadn't stopped the blade, it probably would have taken my fingertip right off. Here's a more modern version of the Swiss Army knife. Counterclockwise from the blade, there's a can opener, a bottle opener slash screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an awl. On this knife, the blade locks open, so I don't have to worry about it snapping shut on my fingers. A knife with that feature is often called a lockback knife. Again, there are features you won't need on the trail, but if you want a knife that's not just for hiking, this is a pretty good choice. It's larger and heavier than my old Swiss Army knife, but it still fits in a front pants pocket, and so far I haven't used the carry case. If this was as small and light as my old Swiss Army knife, it would be just about perfect. I find this Victor Inox can opener easier to use than the Wenger opener, but let's face it, who hikes with canned goods these days? When I first hiked decades ago, freeze-dried food was hard to find. When it was cooked, it had the consistency of baby poop, and it didn't taste much better than it looked. No wonder I carried cans into the boonies. Nowadays, freeze-dried meals actually taste good, and I can't remember the last time I took a can on a hike. There's a reason for that loop of bright pink mason's twine. If I drop a black knife into tall grass or dead leaves, it's going to blend right in. The bright color will help me find the knife again. This Leatherman makes my Y chromosome tingle, and it has a locking blade, but I've never taken it hiking. Let's look at why. Since it's a Leatherman, it includes a pair of pliers. This model also has double-headed screwdriver bits that fit into one of the handles. If you don't have a toolkit and something breaks, you can do some serious emergency repairs with this thing. The problem is, when you're hiking in a wilderness, you're not going to come across nuts, bolts, or screws that need adjusting. So for a hiker, this is a knife that's heavier than it needs to be, with functions you won't use beyond the trailhead. Besides, for me, any knife that comes with small loose parts is a non-starter for a hike. These screwdriver bits fit snugly into the tool, so they're not likely to fall out on their own, but it's easy to drop one when you're changing it out. Drop something that small into tall weeds, good luck finding it again. If you do use a tool like this on a hike, work on a tarp or spray paint the small parts some bright color. That way you'll increase your chances of finding a part after you drop it. This Leatherman comes with a belt clip, 
a feature you'll find on many lockback knives. If your knife has this feature, don't use it while hiking. Otherwise, as you're forcing your way through brush, some branch is going to pull your knife off your belt. Chances are you won't feel it go, you won't hear it hit the ground, and you won't know it's gone until it's too late to find it again. This happened to me, and it's a mistake I'll make only once. If you wear a knife on your belt, keep it in a carry case with a closed loop you slide your belt through. When it comes down to it, all you need on a hike is a knife with a locking blade, period. For a while, I hiked with hunter's knives like this buck knife. You can use it to field dress a deer, but the most ferocious thing I ever did with it on a hike was slice cheese. It's the heaviest knife in the video. It's also too large to slip comfortably into a front pants pocket. Here's a much smaller, lighter knife by Benchmade. It has a locking blade and can take on any cutting or slicing job I'll face on a hike. No surprise that this knife is often the one I take. Here also the bright pink mason's cord is to help me find the knife if I drop it. This knife came with a belt clip, but the first thing I did when I got the knife was remove the belt clip and toss it in the trash. That forces me to keep the knife in my front pants pocket. If I keep my knife there, I'm not going to lose it like I might if I clip it to my belt. Also, it'll be with me even if I'm dumb enough to walk away from my pack and it's available the moment I need it. Again, no endorsement of a single product because there's no such thing as the perfect hiking knife. Consider when, where, and how you'll use your knife and choose accordingly. A knife for car camping plus day hikes will be different from the knife for a through hike. Please use the comments to let other viewers know which knife you use and why it's the best knife for you. Thank you.